Is that a baton he's holding? <laughs> yep. Uh, I'm definitely not passionate about this at all. Okay, you are now reacting to the boy group on and off and their 2019 comeback, We Must Love. The Korean title being 사랑하게 될 거야. I'll like love. I'll love you like something like that. You will. Thank you. We Must Love story is related to their previous song's lyrical theme. So with their debut song called On and Off, they sing about their crush having control over their emotions as if they had a hidden on and off switch on their heart. Oh. Then with their first comeback, Complete, the song sings of feeling complete when you are with the person you love. So with We Must Love, uh, the song talks about kind of losing that love and losing your memories of that love. And so they think that the relationship plays possibly in the past or in the future or maybe in a different world but they're confident that as time passes they'll grow strong together and fall in love again the song is composed by huang hyun awesome. and as for the music video it's a pretty clear example of on and off's multiverse that they've created for every mm. music video mm. the one that you guys watched was when they successfully found the keys to open the pandora's box to get into that. a new world oh then yeah. so this okay. one be takes place before that okay when they're still searching for the keys and they're traveling through time and one of their friends gets lost no so they try to find him and they're all like committing crimes because mm. it's like illegal to travel through time without it. Uh, yeah. No! I'm so lost. Love. The theme is lost, love, blah, yada, let's go. <sighs> oh, we must love. Oh, Yeah. Oh, God. Mushu? Budget. Look at this budget. Wow, you can tell it's a dystopian world from the falling sky. <laughs> Oh no, is he lost? Oh. Oh, this is so pretty! He's got a nice deep timbre. Whoever was singing just now had a very rich voice. Very rich. Like a lyric baritone. I like the soundscape of this. How sexy. That's hot fire. Oh, and then when they come in on the offbeat for the last one. Ooh. I love the vocoder. And they go in, come in on the major too. That's so cool. This this takes me back to like 2016. <laughs> I like that the sound remains really bright and trouble heavy. They didn't make it super dark. That was sick. I don't know what that was. That was cool. Did you notice the time travel in the music that was just present? Yes, I did. That's, that's, yes. Wow, backward sounds. I really, really like this. For some reason, this is like super nostalgic for me. Like this like style of music. Wow. It's really gaining intensity. That's awesome. Oh, oh that was perfect. <laughs> That's a very effective sort of It's such a good drop. Moment. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's uh, it's also great cuz it's like one, two, three, and then they come together in a very satisfying way. No. I love that. Ah. Uh. Did they find him? Oh, what's going on? Oh no! Oh. Woo! I'm just trying to see him because he's in the stratosphere. Yeah. Where'd he go? Okay, so he's the guy that they're chasing. He can go disappear. Yeah. Oh, the I love that! Yeah. That drop is also time. Mm. That was fun. Da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Mm. Wow! That was awesome. 
Huh, the minor seventh has the highest voice in that last chord. That was interesting. Da. Really enjoyed that. Whoa. You were banging your head so hard, I thought your headphones were going to fly. <laughs> That one's like one of the best I've listened oh. to it. The mixing is phenomenal. <laughs> I love the mixing. Like usually that kind of orchestration, like that kind of synth and all the things packed together, there are already no rooms for vocals. But the vocal line just like stack with the line perfectly and stack with all the instrument perfectly. Everything I can hear the vocal really clear, I can hear the instrument really clear. Every everything is so clear. And then in order to like make the separation going, so they even just like, I don't know, cancel or just don't add reverb. Mm. I didn't hear a lot of re reverb no with this song. Mm -hmm. right. I really like how like every time they commit to sort of making the percussion a little sparser in the chorus. The entire first half of the chorus, the percussion is kind of more sporadic, but I'm just surprised how it works every single time. I'm, I thought that they did a really good job. It's The momentum was still kept in, which I thought was really nice, because I've definitely heard examples of songs where they commit to sort of the freeze, freezing time or halftime thing too much and it, it becomes a little bit of a drag, but this song never felt that way. That, to that instrument though totally sounds like DJ Snakes to, from like 2016 or 2015. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I did not like that. That particular sound. Like they sample somebody's voice and they pitch it up. I call it the like, baby voice. Yeah. Sample. I think a baby synth does work for the type of atmosphere they're creating with a you know very bright tone. I yeah, I just didn't really like the the continuation. That that sound was just really grating. I guess it's more of a personal thing. I think those types of samples, if you're just gonna like press a button and dee 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 dee, they have to be done in a refined way. So for me, that wasn't my favorite aspect but the rest of the song was really good. While you're talking about the groupings of three eighth notes, uh, that syncopation was really prevalent throughout the song. Like, dum, bum, bum, bum. Like that's kind of everywhere. So, so when, they, when they come into bon, ka, bon, ka, it almost feels empty because we don't have that thing on, on the end of one. And so when three actually comes in with its full force of threeness, then it actually, it just, it's a totally different world. That was nice. Yeah, I, I really liked their chorus though. I kind of liked the down, because they were do like straight like silence, but just like kind of beats heavy on like one and three, and you would expect it to kind of keep on happening, but they like kind of surprise you by like switching from one and three to like two and four. I just love the layerings that was going on. Like especially in like the beginning where like they pan it in each ear and then like new things just come up and then when you go to the chorus they do block chords and it's just yeah, like everything's so unified. Ah! I think the space in like the chorus with having that space like da, ba, da, I get that that was so so great because most of the time like the choruses are just like they just go crazy but this one used yeah, especially when you have like the ticka 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 when you have that like build up into it, like you usually expect the chorus to just like like an elephant. But it actually was like it's just really nice. Having having the space and having them kind of draw you in. Yeah, and I like the chords too. I don't know what the progression was, but it was so so nice. They start from the sixth chord, they did some six five ones, and of they two. did some six seven ones, and they changed the chord progression a couple more times. Yeah. And they introduced the major four mm -hmm. with the dominant seven. Right. Which is super great. The dominant seven. And then that was kind of like a backdoor two five one going from the F to the B flat to the C. Oh, you're right. Yeah, that's really cool. Watching it with the video, you you wonder like what what did they want to communicate at what moment, depending on what was gonna be on screen. Because at the beginning I could kind of like sense that the sky was falling in a way, like the chords are very spacious. And so when you see the, are they just like asteroids or something falling from the sky? Like it was clear. What was the one moment? Oh, the belt, the belting. Oh my gosh, the belting. Clear, clear. I think we're still looking for him to this very day. Well, you're gonna like the next thing even more because you will be reacting to the 2020 rearrangement of We Must Love, titled <laughs> The We Must Love, and this was performed on the competition show Road to Kingdom. You guys have reacted to various Road to Kingdom performances before, but they were all from the final round. This is from one of the previous rounds where the artists had to do a rearrangement and performance of one of their own past songs. So for this new performance of it, the track has been completely reinstalled 
instrumentated by the original composer Huang Hyun. You reached for that word. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm sorry. She got it. The bandoneon is played by Ko Sangji, and the guitar is played by Chuck J. On and off were also included in this stage creation. The member Jayus came up with the concept, and the member Yu participated in creating the choreography. The female that you will see performing with them is named Yua, and she is from the K-pop girl group Oh My Girl, which is under the same company as On and Off. Three, two, one. Road to Kingdom. Wow. Oh. It's very different, very clockwork feel. Waltz. Uh huh. Wow. Hey, they're shaping their notes. I missed that. That's great. Yeah, but and then you can feel it. There's like a major three, minor three bass. I like that. Wow. Rhythm. The accordion, the acoustic guitar plucking out the chord and the strings and the bass going on too. Ethereal. Oh. Arpeggiations in triplets. Now in 16th notes. Building up. It's accelerating metrically. This is my fi I like this one. I like this great. This is great. Is that a baton he's holding? Oh my gosh. Oh, at least he's conducting actual rhythms. Can I conduct band like that? Oh my goodness, it's a violin! Yes. Oh, the instrumentation is really nice as well. I'm sorry, the violin solo is so good. I hope everything goes. What? Who? Saya Hasashi. Who? Oh my god, I love this song. <laughs> the more I hear. <laughs> wow. What is it? Kung Fu, but it's like Conductor Fu. Conduct Fu. Wow, we go in. This is metal drums. Oh. I love that. Oh, it's just, it stretches the harmony so nicely. Wow. Wow. I, I really like this. Holy shit! That's sick. That's what so, the frick? That's so fucking cool. Look at the cool. clock! Yeah, it's so sick. They're a really great group, man. They work together so well. And you can tell there's something different about the energy too, like... It just like flows together so well. Nice. Very cool. Ah. Uh, the live instrumentation really brings out the different timbres that you wouldn't get from like electronics. There's a lot of personality in this. Girl, what's going on? That walking bass line? Doing a little something something. Mm. Moscow! Yeah! <laughs> mm. Oh. Ooh. A little bit yes, of a swell there. there. Yeah. So Ooh. pretty. It's Pickety Third, everyone. Pickety Third plus a mask. They said Bach. Mm. I got it, you guys. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? 
So Moscow, Moscow is all about like going back to Moscow because that's like where they fell in love and they're trying to like revamp their romance. So like he sings at the end, like right before he falls down. And like the whole thing was like them running out of time. So he's like, like they ran out of time. Nice. I like, yeah, it's really good. It's very theatrical. Very theatrical. I'm glad that they keep the energy, mm -hmm. but they totally changed the vibe. So it's like, aside from the energy, the punch, they add some sort of beauty because I, I, I can tell like uh, some very subtle violin, I mean strings line that are really beautiful. Just like um, playing all the tension notes and then like tension and release, I don't know, yeah. For me like the organ organic, what's the noun of organic, whatever. It's, it's organic, like clean, you know. The things that I loved in the other ones that were more digital are were orchestra now, which if you like acoustic, I mean, you're gonna love that. I like the timbre of the violin playing that little synth section a lot more. Right? Yeah. And the fact that they played that once and then they went down the octave for the second time. I, I, they didn't have that for the song. They just kept that same kind of sound. So it was really nice to get that timbre shift. Just give it more variety. I like the build up into like the high note that he sings. Like I think just like the, the re-articulation of the, the notes building the chord to the high note. I thought that was really nice. But also all the arpeggiations in the beginning. Oh. oh yeah. It's a lot softer of a pre-chorus buildup, but the strings they kept stacking up that top note and they built intensity through pitch and a and crescendo too. I like that. It's just it's really fresh to hear that kind of sound in K-pop. Because we get, in pop music, we just get a lot of the eighth notes, 16th notes, and then the bass is gonna do eighth notes, and then 16th notes as we build up in intensity that way. So it added some good variety. It was clean. So what do you think of this rearrangement? I liked it so much more than the other one. Yeah. And like, I feel bad because I'm like, I need to stop saying that. I don't feel bad. They like took their old song and they're like, but what if we made it an anime song now? And I was like, I like it so much better now. You <laughs> lost. 네 이렇게 리액트 투더 케이 리액션 영상을 봤는데 오랜만에 이렇게 로드 킹덤 무대를 함께 볼수 있어서 너무 좋았고요. 그리고 리액션을 또 잘하시고 오네노프 음악에 대한 얘기를 좋은 얘기를 많이 해주셔서 정말 감사드립니다. 저는 보면서 그때의 비하인드들 이런 것들 생각이 났는데 이더 사랑하게 될 거야 무대를 준비를 하면서 스토리에 맞춰서 안무나 구성을 만드는 게 조금 힘들었던 것 같아요. 이게 2차 경연이었는데 1차 경연의 무대의 안무보다 2차 무대 안무가 좀덜 들어갔어요. 부족하게 들어가서 아 이거 뭔가 더 해야 되는 거 아닌가? 안무가 더 뭔가 있어야 되지 않을까? 약간 이런 걱정들도 사실 있었어요. 네, 그런 걱정들과 함께 연습을 했는데 결과적으로 어, 그림도 좋게 나오고 결과도 좋게 나오고 해서 정말 기뻤습니다. 아무튼 그런 생각이 떠올랐습니다. 5주년을 맞이해서 이렇게 영상을 만들어 주셨는데 사실 예전에 저희 곡을 리액션 하시는 거 봤었어요. 그때가 아마 모스코 모스코 영상이었던 것 같은데 그걸 사실 봤었는데 그때도 재밌게 봤거든요. 이번에도 정말 즐겁게 봤습니다. 앞으로도 리액션 영상 많이 기대하겠습니다. 알았어요. 저희 오네노프가 5주년 네, 맞이했는데요. 많은 사람들이 저희 음악에 공감을 해주시고 많은 사람들이 저희를 사랑해 주신다는 게 감사한 일인 것 같아요. 그래서 이 마음을 잊지 않고 앞으로도 쭉쭉 열심히 활동 해보겠습니다. 화이팅! 마지막으로 팬분들한테 하고 싶은 말은 항상 옆에서 열심히 응원해 주셔서 정말 감사드리고 지금까지 활동하면서 행복한 일들 함께 만들어 왔잖아요. 그것보다 더 행복하게 저희가 만들어 드리겠습니다. 그리고 이번 달에 나오는 신곡도 많이 기대를 해 주시고요. 그리고 여름에 돌아올 내년 여름에 돌아올 오네노프 완전체도 많은 기대 부탁드립니다. 지금까지 라이트 업 오네노프의 유였습니다. 안녕. If you guys could choose the rearranged version or the original version, which would you pick? This is hard. I think I'd go with I think I'd go with the video version for how it was written in terms of those climaxes, in terms of those build those building 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 chords. For 
the orchestration something that, not to say that it was bad because it had everything I could have possibly wanted, but there weren't as many sort of like dynamic changes. Sort of what replaced that was kind of like sort of sections of how they were using the orchestration. But yeah, I think the dynamics that I got out of the first version was something that I didn't necessarily get out of the second one. That also like helped me enjoy it better. But that's just me. I like the first one better. First one better. Um, the second one is very cool though. It sounds great for like a live, live adaptation. I just really like produced stuff. It's like, because it sounds better, kind of. You, you know like you know what I mean? It's like, so live is cool, but yeah, it's so clean. I also love the um, the sample of the like, ba -da -da -da, ba -da 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 thing. It was some weird thing taken and like chopped and mapped to like a synth and then, I don't know. But like, it sounds really sick. And like, I dig the, you know, the violin thing's cool too. <laughs> but I don't know, I like the, I like the produced things. Like it's really, really creative sounds. I definitely like this one better. Yeah. It's, maybe maybe I'm biased because like I'm a classical musician, but like no, I just think just, like the strings make things so much more ethereal and pretty, and the baby voice wasn't there <laughs> at all. That's why Jason so liked it. I liked it a lot better. That question is like asking me if my girlfriend and my mom fall into the river, which one will I rescue? <laughs> <laughs> I can't choose. Okay, well then I, I won't force you to. <laughs> I'm wondering which one's your girlfriend and which one's your mom, though. Oh. You must step back. We must play by oomph. 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 It's actually on and off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oomph. <laughs>